A random sample of 250 voters were asked if they planned to vote in the next midterm elections. Using the results, researchers formed the following 95% confidence interval estimate of the proportion of voters who planned to vote. They tell us that the sample proportion was 38% and that they have a margin of error of plus or minus 5%. So if you look at what this problem is doing here, they're not telling us to construct a confidence interval for the proportion of voters who plan to vote. They're telling us that they already constructed the interval for us, and the answer was 38% plus or minus a margin of error of 5%. So they're giving us the confidence interval. So the whole point of this question is not to construct an interval, but rather to interpret the results by answering this question, which says that a pundit claims that less than half of the public plans to vote in the coming elections. So let's first start by writing out the interval. The format they gave us was basically this. They tell us p hat plus or minus the error is equal to 0 0.38. So that's your sample proportion or your p hat. And then plus or minus your margin of error, which is 0 0.05. So they've given us that. And then from there, what we could do is simply put it in the sort of traditional interval notation and we can say, well, 38% minus 5% is 33%. And then 38% plus 5% will give you 43%. So that provides the interval. And if you want to write it in percents, you can even say, you know, 33% to 43% is essentially the interval. So what this tells us is that the true percentage of people who plan to vote should be somewhere between 33 to 43% of the population. Now let's address this question. It says, if a pundit claims that less than half of the public plans to vote in the coming midterm elections, does the interval support the pundit's statement? And I would say yes, it does support it because it says what? That less than half of the public plans to vote. Less than half means under 50%. And this interval includes values that are all under 50%. So if the true proportion of voters is in here, and all these numbers are below 50, it makes it seem like the statement is supported by the interval. So we would say basically, yes, the values inside the interval, the values inside the interval are all less than 50%. So the interval supports the claim.